Tis the season to shop, and for one Twin Cities man, that holiday shopping comes with a special mission. More than a decade ago, Arnie, Arnie Curiel started a program called Shop with Cops. Its goal to help build better relationships between a community and its police force. Alan Costantini introduces us to our most recent 11 Who Cares honoree. A lot of people talk about what they, they've done or what they want to do to, to make something better. But Arnie Curiel has done more than just talk. Arnie was one of the uh, big reasons why we turned that community around to uh, one of the safest communities. To walk the streets of St. Paul's Frogtown now, you might never know how rough the area was in the 1990s. It was a perception that if the cops were getting out of the car to talk to you, you've done something wrong. They weren't necessarily people that you trusted. We used to call it drive-by policing. But Arnie Curiel wanted Frogtown to change. He had grown up there, and he had an idea. Before that, we had never had an event like that. Arnie called it Shop with Cops. We're using about uh, maybe five to $6,000 or so of donated money uh, from uh, various private donors in the area and to make this a happy uh, holiday season for the kids. Arnie set up a system of raising money and finding volunteers in the police and the public, then getting them all together on one day in December for some retail therapy. He started with just 20 kids in 1999. Last year, there were 270. Okay, I'll give that to my dad. Really, the shopping's about them buying stuff for their family members. And then after they're all done buying for their family members, they buy for themselves. We ask the parents to kind of send them with a rough Christmas list. It's really not about the gift. It's about, you know, the relationship with the police officer. And it's also about being able for that child to buy something for mom and dad. It's about a generation of Frogtown kids who know the men and women in blue can be their friends. Arnie Curiel is an assistant professor at the College of St. Scholastica. But the lesson he is teaching goes all the way back to the now safer streets where he grew up. So, you know, it, that's a great feeling. Well, it costs about $15,000 a year to put on Shop with Cops. This year's event takes place on December 8th. Arnie tells us that they're expecting about 200 kids. And if you'd like to volunteer or help out at the event, log on to care11.com where you'll find a link to sign up. The White House Christmas tree arrived in Washington, D.C. today. Michelle Obama and daughter Sasha Malia were there to see the 19-foot Fraser fir delivered by horse-drawn carriage. The tree comes from Peak Farms in Jefferson, North Carolina. It will be displayed in the blue room of the White House. Do you think they decorate it themselves, or do you think that they nice. have other people that come in and it's help huge. out? It's a good question. I think that would be fun. Yeah. You'd need a ladder, though. Yeah, huge tree. Or you could put the star oh, right on the top on for now. us. Come on now. <laughs> I did have to stand on like a six foot box out yeah. there while we were standing next to you. <laughs> and I still dwarfed you. I am freakishly tall. <laughs> and I'm freakishly short. That's okay. So, all right. yeah, no, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the weather instead. <laughs> That's cold outside. It is cold. It did. Outside. You know, if you missed it, uh, we set a record high yesterday on Thanksgiving Day at midnight. We hit 60. We were still in the 50s by lunchtime. And then, uh, the bottom dropped out. There was snow on the ground by dinner time yesterday, and now we're kind of in the freezer. We're going to stay here for quite a while. Here's a look at some low temperatures tonight. Probably the coldest night of the season. Not probably. It's going to be lows tonight in the Twin Cities. In the lower teens, if you live in the suburbs, most likely single digits, and that's where much of the region is going to be. The good news is the winds are going to tail off a little bit as we go through the overnight hours, and tomorrow looks slightly warmer. Very slight, probably lower 30s tomorrow and also on Sunday, but we'll see another reinforcing shot of some cold air in here by Monday and Tuesday. Highs retreat back into the 20s. We'll step outside. It is clearing out. The winds are starting to die down just a little bit, but it's still uh, pretty noticeably cold out here, even for this time of year. And again, it's going to stay this way here for quite some time. Let's take a look at our numbers today. 10 degrees below average. We should be right around 37. We are at 27 today. Uh, with a low of 18. That's our current temperature. We did pick up a half inch of snow after midnight last night. Still dealing with a northwesterly wind at 13 miles per hour, creating wind chill values. At least it's above zero, five above here in the metro, but many areas a little bit below zero. As far as snowfall totals from the last 24 hours or so, at the airport, about a half inch. North side of town, though, about two inches, one to two in many locations on the north side of the metro. But once you get up here in the north and south shore, really getting hammered, especially on the south shore, we had those northwesterly winds really giving us some lake enhancement snow bands. So, uh, like the snowmobile, that's the direction to head.
here this weekend. 23 today, this afternoon, in Brainerd, 27 in Mankato. Hardly any 30s on the map except for 31 in Rochester. Seeing a little bit of clearing right now. That will be the trend as we go through the overnight. High pressure to our south will keep cold air locked in place for now. Again, slightly warmer weather moves in as we go into the weekend. This little system, this little clipper-like system will scrape right along the international border and bring a few snow showers to northern Minnesota by later in the day tomorrow. I think they're going to stay north of the metro, though. Clearing out tonight, decreasing winds, cold, lows, mostly into the single digits. Again, if you live close to downtown Minneapolis or St. Paul, we may stay into the teens, but uh, no matter how you slice it, it's going to be a cold start. A little bit of sunshine tomorrow morning, otherwise increasing cloud cover. We'll call it kind of a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day. A little bit warmer, but still chilly even for this time of year. 30 if we're lucky. South wind at 8 to 14 miles per hour. 33 on Sunday. There's the warmest day of the weekend. May melt a little bit of snow, especially if we can see a little bit of sunshine in the afternoon. But then back into the 20s for highs Monday and Tuesday. A more substantial warming trend. By late next week, 40 by Friday. That is substantial. Yes. You know, the thing of it is, is once you get into the freezer, it's hard to get out of it. So I'm not going to say it's totally over with, but it looks like winter's here to stay at least for a while. All right. Thank you, Jared. Yeah. Hopefully not until, you know, April we'll or see. May. All right. <laughs> Thank you. The Gopher men and women's basketball teams have productive days. Plus, it's high school prep football championship action at the Dome. Keith Leventhal is all the highlights from today's games. He's up next with sports. Carol Evan Digital is brought to you by the Guthrie. Now playing A Christmas Carol, a Minnesota holiday tradition. Tickets at GuthrieTheater.org. Bring your holidays home with inspiring traditional and contemporary home decor gifts from Gertens, an inspirational array of breathtaking Christmas home decor ideas. Gertens, Highways 52 and 494, Invergrove Heights. Some people put everything into their work. their name on the door, and their heart into their community. Small Business Saturday is a day to show our support. A day to shop at stores owned by our friends and neighbors. And do our part for the businesses that do so much for us. On November 24th, let's get out and shop small. Stainless white and Black Friday savings all weekend long at Warner Stellion. Choose Samsung's front load steam laundry pair and save $600. Or this high efficiency top load pair and save $400. Either pair now only $1199 through November 26th at Warner Stellion. Welcome to Toyotathon, biggest sales event of the year. I'm Jan. Hi, I need something that'll save me on gas. Camry and Corolla have great mileage, and the Prius is unbelievable. Gym to reception. So, do you have a Prius in white? We have plenty. <gasps> Sold. Great choice. Thank you. Yeah, Jan. Right now, get an amazing 0% APR financing for 60 months or lease the 2013 Corolla for just $169 a month. Toyota Thon is on, the event you don't want to miss. Innovation starts with bright ideas. The same surgeons who brought Tria Orthopedic Center to life were among the first in the country to bring the light of arthroscopic surgery to the forefront. TRIA physicians have shared their quest for excellence through textbooks, journal papers, and fellowship training to hundreds of specialists around the world. All that research, education, and innovation is put into practice every day. So you can get back to what you love to do. Black Friday is over. But the deals continue at Becker Furniture World's extended Black Friday sale. Get a $100 gift card with 50% off store-wide. The extended Black Friday sale absolutely ends Monday at Becker Furniture World. Keeping our lights on illuminates new hope for longer lives. Creates bright new stars. that spark the greatest minds of tomorrow. See more highlights at umn.edu. Your super saver value of 30% off on lifelike Christmas trees. Gertens, 30% off. The best selection, brands, and price. Gertens, super saver, 30% off lifelike trees. Gertens, highways 494 and 52, Invergrove Heights. 11 Who Cares, presented by Thrivent Financial for Lutherans.